Hello, Gunner James 105. So today's video is concerning the mosquito net, insect net, bug net that uh, the Canadian military issued. I'm not sure. I'm I'm going to guess that this one's somewhere around 80s, 90s. It could go um, later than that. I wasn't issued one, so part of the Red Force would would have received a. A net like that, I suppose, if it were needed, you know, if they're going to an area where um, there were a lot of uh, uh, mosquitoes and, and other pesty uh, creatures, uh, they would need that. So it, it wasn't something that was just a general issue thing, as far as I know. And it's probably very similar, if not exactly the same as perhaps what Americans were, were issued in other countries. And so um, for quite some time, I mean, you, you can get this type of uh, a mosquito net if you're in serious insect uh, mosquitoes mostly the, the the biggest pest for us here in uh, Canada might be black flies or, um, or mosquitoes and so a net like this could come in handy if it's if it's really bad I wouldn't want to have to be in those conditions uh, where simply putting on mosquito repellent would be enough but this is a made in Tai Taiwan you can get your made in Taiwan China etc product probably quite cheap I don't know, uh, this was given to me, uh, but yeah, so it's, it's a civilian type. Might as well take it out. I'll just, we'll have a look at it. And then you, when you see this, then you can, you can have a better comparison to what, what the military had come up with. So I'll just, uh, yeah, it's basically a net with an elastic at the bottom. So there is a bit of a, um, seam here that would help form this on the, on top of your head. And then it's not really a tight fitting elastic. I guess that would be about the right size, I suppose, once it got down to your past your collar. But that's the civilian type, cheap as dirt, find anywhere. It's a heater net. And so this, uh, and that's what happens. You know, you, you get your, uh, you know, you, you get your, uh, uh, your bugs, bug collection. You happen to leave the door open and, and they get out. Well, now, you, now you're going to definitely need something uh uh, for protection so this is this is uh yeah the bug house that uh you leave that door open you got you got problems so be careful with that um so this here then is the, the item i picked up and and i had gone through quite a stack of them there were stained holes um just a lot of crappy looking ones whereas this one here was the best, the, the pick, of the, pick of the litter, I guess you'd call it, and uh, is pretty much um, perfect. There's nothing really that I can find any flaws on it. And it also came with, and this was quite a rare item uh, amongst the, the batch, where this instruction card um, with a string attaching it to this little uh, elastic loop. So we've got the uh, instruction card. And so I was going to kind of go through what this is telling you to do and how you're to to uh, put this on you say well yeah well uh gunner james that's real simple you put that on your head and, and boom you're done but they've, they've got they've got uh, a bit of instruction because uh and i always like the way the military would you know they're wording on on so many things uh insect net head uh, as opposed to uh, uh head net insect or I don't know but um, insect net comma head so the first thing that they're talking about and they've got a bit of a, a picture to help you uh, realize it in, uh, uh, in you know as far as the instructions go well there's that's what it should, the finished product should look like but put head net on your bare head so that the elastic headband rests comfortably on the upper part of your head or stretch the headband and pull it over the helmet so that it grips close above the rim. So that's the first thing that you're going to look at. So you, you look inside of here, and inside of here there's a, uh, I'll turn this inside out basically. So inside of here there's a tag for those that might be interested, and um, I know that there's some that have the capability of taking that that number. I'll just bring it a little closer. I don't think you can see it. I don't know how it's focusing. Hello. So this is the the tag that's on the inside, and this is the elastic that they're referring to. 
And so you're going to adjust that and tie it, tie a knot right there to make it fit your head properly or your helmet properly. So that's that. And then it goes on. So once you've, you've got that, we'll turn it back the other way. So then we're, we're saying that um, you tie the drawstring permanently so that the drawstring knot is about eight inches below your chin. So they've moved on to another drawstring and the head net fits snugly below the collar. So they're referring now to this drawstring that's at the, at the bottom. So there it is. And you want to have that, according to this, eight inches below your chin. So once, once it's on the, the helmet, it should be, should be eight inches below your chin. And you want to have, um, the, uh, and below the collar, okay? And be sure the back of the head net is well below your collar and hook the elastic loops tightly over the breast pocket buttons, okay? So these are what I've just read to you. These are the, so one of the loops has the tag on it and the other loop is right here. So this is going to go, this is your, this is the front then. So you know this is the front and these are going to hook on your breast pocket buttons. Okay, so it's going to secure it there. So the top is secured by the helmet. You pull that down, put it on your, your pocket buttons, and, and this thing's uh, not going anywhere. So now we will attempt to follow those instructions. And there we'll proceed on to the back portion of the card because I want to give you that information as well. So we take the uh, what we know to be the front, and we're going to then place this over the helmet. Now I like to tuck these in on the chin strap just to keep that from catching on things. I mean, it's probably a lot easier if it's on your head. So we'll just try to move that and about there. Okay, so this uh, helmet, and I thought about using the foam head. I don't know if it would be any sturdier. So we're gonna get that pulled down and then you'll see that that top elastic fits just above the rim. So there it is. So that's now fitted on the helmet. It's nice. And uh, it would come down across the back. So now we've got our, our loops here to go onto the breast pocket buttons. And if I lift that up, you can see that that's all just like so. So there, I'm thinking, I have tried this in, in daylight. It does obstruct your uh, vision a little bit, but not that bad. I'm pretty sure at night though, it's, it's gonna restrict it uh, a bit, but uh, now we'll just take, an, take a look at this as far as the, uh, the instructions go then on the other side to remove quickly. So we, we need to know what to do to remove this quickly. And that's grasp the back of the uh, head net where it rests over the collar. Pull forward off your head. Okay, so we'll do that. And so it, it just comes forward and it's off and done. Now, what they're also suggesting, because uh, of course that's important, is that the, uh, the head net, they underline some of these things. So the, the head net is made especially to sleep in, which might be not true. You, you've got these, uh, this is like a, Looks like plastic. It's not metal, or if it's metal, it's. You know, I'm, I'm. I'm going to say it's probably plastic, but it probably is not that comfortable. But more comfortable than being bitten. So you could you could adjust, adapt, just live with it. So then, uh, to avoid being bitten by dangerous insects, hand in in uh, hand impregnate it every evening with insect repellent by sprinkling three to four drops uh, in the palm of one hand, then rubbing your hands together to spread the repellent and finally rubbing the netting between your hands. And you want to repeat the process until all of the netting has been evenly covered. So you, you're, you're just going to put it on your hands, rub it in, and then... Now, what I just did there, you'll see what uh, was incorrect. But yeah, you want to just rub, rub that uh, repellent 
uh, on the uh, netting. And lastly, it says, do not waste repellent by saturating the netting and keep, in capital letters, keep repellent off the elastic as it will ruin it. Keep repellent off the elastic. So I thought maybe they were initially when I was, uh, before I did the video, I thought they were referring to this, but it is referring to elastic. So you just don't want to get that repellent on here. It's going to, it's going to ruin it. So basically if you're, if you're just wiping it around here and then avoiding this bottom area, then you should be okay. So there you have the, uh, there you have the insect net head, Canadian military I'm going to say 80s, 90s use. Thanks for watching.